What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Hypnotic Lady and I'm working with the company West Kiss Hair today. Here I'm showing you all the goodies. I got a giant head scarf. Y'all it's silk or satin whichever one you want to call it but I love it. I also got this silk or satin bonnet which is reversible. You can wear it black or red. Super cute. Also got this elastic band, um, a wig cap, and then, of course, your West Kiss scrunchie bag so you can store your wig once you're done wearing it. And this is the wig, ladies. This is their Curly HD Lace 6x6 Closure Wig. It did come in 200 density and 24 inches. I did go ahead and pluck it off camera and bleach the knots. But, y'all, this lace is amazing. I love HD lace. Um, it's about almost as clear as the, I mean, the next best thing that you can get is clear lace, which I've been seeing lately. But get into it, sis. Get into it. Jumping right in, I'm going to take my scissors and cut off the little ends of the closure. Because here I want to show you guys in detail how to slay your closure like a frontal. Now. Now I'm going to cut my lace off. I thought I had this all in camera, but I didn't. But I'm showing you guys, I took my um, eyebrow razor and I cut the excess lace off. Now I'm just going to take my makeup brush that I have excess powder on from like previous installs. I'm going to take that and brush that onto the lace just to give the lace some color and bring it back so it doesn't look as ashy because it is, um, you know, HD or translucent, whichever one you want to call it. So I want it to melt with my skin tone and it's already given what it's supposed to give. You already know. Now we are going to go in with our alcohol and clean the perimeter of our hairline. I'm taking my bold hold active and I'm going to do two layers of glue and then I'm going to use my blow dryer in between. me using the blow dryer and now I'm going in with my second layer um, I wanted a mild hold um, if you want a stronger hold of course use more layers I planned on taking this wig off in a couple of days like next three or four days so two layers was good enough for me and like I said I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer and then I'm going to put the lace down I also didn't see put myself in the camera putting my lace down as well so you guys are just gonna see me come back when I'm putting down my excess lace right here at the edge. But y'all, it's already given what it's supposed to give. Scalp, 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 baby. You feel me? But yeah. Um, like I said, I use my blow dryer in between. Once that's done, um, like I said, I take my comb. We're going to do a middle part, and this is a six by six closure. So you get six lace, six inches of lace going across, and six inches going back. Deep, deep, deep parting space, girls. If you guys want to do a braiding style, you could do that with this lace closure wig. Um, if you want to do a deep side part, you could, because as you guys can see, the parting goes all the way back. Like it's super far, super quick. So yeah. Now I'm doing my part. I'm going to take my nutrients wax stick, and I got this at my local beauty supply store. But I'm going to go in with that and use my hot comb. And my hot comb I also got from the beauty supply store. I don't know what brand it is, um, but I know it was only $14.99. Um, this is like my second or third one. I buy them all the time. Once they start looking real rusty and old like that, that's when I'll start replacing it. I'm going to get a new one soon. But tell me that didn't lay down that head. Tell me that didn't lay that down. So you want to just take your hot comb. And I have it on the hottest setting. Like I said, it does get hot, so don't leave it sitting on there because you will burn your head, burn your hair, baby. Don't want to do that. But, yeah. You 
want it to look as flat as possible, as realistic as possible, and it's definitely giving what it's supposed to give. Now I'm going to do um, the other side. And with this being some curly hair, you know, you don't want to completely press it out because you don't want the front of your hair um, straight. So I only drag it to about an inch to a half an uh, inch to two inches from the root of the hair. I don't go too much farther than that because I will still want to keep the hair curly or wavy at the root somewhat. And I'm going to go back in with some water later. Now I'm going in with my comb and uh, I'm pulling out my baby hairs. And I'm doing some simple baby hairs, just simple swoops, nothing crazy. Um, I am going to lay them down with some got to be glued and my eyebrow spoolie and some Nairobi setting foam. Um, I take my Nairobi setting foam and I lay that on the baby hairs and I just put a little e the excess on the frontal or closure that I'm using. And then I'm going to tie that down with an elastic band. <laughs> I also go in with my even spray, as you guys see. I did double adhesive well, um, as you guys can see, double adhesive. <laughs> I did, got bolt hold, and then I went in with the even spray. Now I'm just cutting off the excess um, baby hairs. And I'm wetting my hair. This is what the hair looks like when it was completely wet and detangled and brushed out. And this is what the other side looks like, natural, brushed out, dry. I'm going to come to you guys back with the other side wet and we are going to apply mousse to seal the deal. Once that's done, we are going to take this elastic band off, do the baby hairs, and that will be the completed look. So this is what we're looking like once the elastic band comes off. I love it. Tell me this is not looking good. Now I'm going to take my Kamozi straightener and I'm going to curl my baby hairs upwards. Here I'm going in with my got to be glue gel and my spoolie and we are going to swoop, 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 swoop till you can't no more. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But um, swoop till you get the desired look that you're going for. Um, I just started on one side and then I'm just going to go to the other side. These are real cute and simple, quick and easy. Um, take your time. Don't rush because you got all day, baby. <laughs> no, not for real. You might not have all day. But yeah, as you guys see, I'm doing the other side. Um, I cut them diagonally, diagonally, diagonally ooh, um, or at an angle. Um, and then, like I said, I went in with my got to be glued and my spoolie, and I'm laying them down. I really wanted my baby hairs to be laid down and stuck, so I used got to be glue. And now I'm going in with my LA Pro Girl Concealer, and I'm just going to pop a little makeup into that lace just to bring some color back. I'm also going to go in with my little detail brush and put some powder in my part to define my part. Once I do that, I'm going to take one last thing, and this is the Holy Grail, y'all. I got this from Arrogant Taylor's class. This is a must-have. Um, it is the Clairol Root Touch-Up or Black <clears throat> black or Brown um, Root Touch-Up or Dye Touch-Up. This is what it looks like. Um, I bought it off Amazon um, for, I think, $25. It's real expensive, but, y'all, it works. I just put it in um, to define my hairline, make it more neat. And then I'm going to go in with my rat tail comb and my blow dryer and smooth everything out and blend it out. Y'all, this is my little secret. <laughs> my little secret. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. This is the finished look. Get into it. Get into it. Again, ladies, this is West Kiss Hair. This is their 6x6, six six, 24 inch, 200 density. 
HD lace and curly texture. I love this wig. Y'all get into it. Tell me that's not giving scalp. Tell me that's not HD. Tell me that's not my hair. Yeah. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. I am think I am going to have a Black Friday resale or flash sale for my used wigs. Um, I will be talking about that later on in the month, um, so please stay tuned. This will be one of the featured wigs. I'm going to um, list a website with all these pre-made wigs. I'm going to have the review attached below for you to purchase. But yes, get into it, guys. Again, my name is Hypnotic Lady. The company I will be working with today was West Kiss Hair. You can follow them at West Kiss on Instagram or visit their website, www.westkisshair.com. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell, baby, so you see when I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.